team due to a winter invasion of the over of the overworld is still seen to this day here let me show you as you can see here this is the overworld chaos i tell you chaos everywhere it's nothing but a lace land and elder guardian just running around but you may be wondering why did you go to the nerd because a brilliant person called Mr. Patrick Yo brought the idea of saying, you know what? If Overworld is destroyed, let's live in there. And to this day, he's the smartest man in history. And saved thousands of lives. And is the reason Nerd Town exists. The first ever building that was built in Nerd Town was the office building, I thought. The office building is a very rather interesting building. And the lava door was the first part of the building built. The second floor is where Mr. Patrick Hill used to live till he made his his little mansion. And you may be wondering, there was a floor above it. Now you're wondering, how do you get to it? Now I'm just going to say this right here. I have no idea. Oh no, it's right over here. Now this is the living room. It hasn't been finished yet. This is a whatever room. Oh yeah, the beaker room. <coughs> so it hasn't been finished, and soon here is going to be a bank. That's going to go pretty good. I hopefully hope. But you're wondering, why do you hear all those noises? Well, I tell you, the office building is not just an office building. It's also another town prison. Enchantment <coughs> room right over here. Ignore the name treasure room. This is a prison. Revert's office over here. My office over here. And jail. Now we have the best friend cage right over here. Eating the villagers. Now if you're wondering what best friends are, I suggest you go check out the origin stories of the prisoners of Nerdtown. And we have a built wire, Darled in here. We have the litter in here. Crazy Dance taking a nap right now. But that's a cell. And our newest addition to this creature is the warden. Now the warden is a very interesting one. I found him in the overworld. He was he was rib, broken ribs, peeled him up, but then he ate one of the office workers. So we put him in prison. <coughs> Probably could have been a nice addition to the island. Oh, looks like he's going for a snack. No, you cannot eat the other cell. Cell. Alright. Then you're wondering, where are the other buildings in there, Tom? Well, we're gonna get to that. This right here is the hotel. This is where Crazy Dan went after his prison sentence. And then he went back to it. And this is the church where you do your stuff. And this is the Capitol building, but it hasn't been finished yet. And this is also an armory. And this is where all the prisoners of Nerdtown that have done low crimes will be moved to. Now, Crazy Dan, before he was a very known criminal across Nerdtown, he used to live here. Yeah. That's the thing. He used to live here, but he lived in this cell. Now, you want to know what happened? Crazy Dan brought a bed, blew up the cell with it somehow, and escaped. And that's why Crazy Dan lives in a bedrock prison. <coughs> now, this is Mr. Patrick Yo's mansion, so he can do his things. And this, these are just, you know, houses. And this, this here, gentlemen, is a golden... <laughs> it's a golden prank. No, I'm joking. It's a cat hat ball. No, of course. And this is a moss. This is a Riverb's house right here. He lives here. This does his stuff here. And this was actually the first house in the world in Nettertown history to have made it be made out of redstone. Look. See here, redstone lights. I know you may think it's not impressive, but it actually took a lot of work. See? 
now the redstone for this place is right over here very sophisticated redstone stuff if I say so myself anyways you don't want to hear me chitter chattering about some stupid house that I made technically but anyways this is also Echo's mansion he just does his stuff here very empty he tried to blow up his own house because he didn't like it apparently and he almost got arrested for it so thank god that didn't happen and he tried to make a garden but that didn't go well now I actually do like this design of the mansion it's very nice Now this, it's the court that Crazy Dan was impeached in. Now let me tell you a story about this one. So this was the first ever court trial in their town history. Crazy Dan was brought in of the charges of destroying his own house, which used to be right here. But it was later rebuilt into those two houses right over there. So Crazy Dan decided to kidnap a lawyer <laughs> for his sentence. And that's... Now Crazy Dan has been arrested. Now you may be wondering, what the hell? Why are the Freddy Fazbear eyes transparent? Well, let me tell you, this isn't just a Freddy Fazbear pizzeria you may be seeing here, folks. This is also Crazy Dan's secret base. He hasn't done much with it because he's been in prison and, you know, so you have to move all the stuff for in case everybody else found out about his base. And if they did, then they would just destroy it. Crazy Dan can have that happen. And that's pretty basically much everything in their town of 2022. Now, their town is not going to be like this anymore. It's going to be bigger than this in the future. It will. Trust me on that. But sometimes you got to take breaks. And after break, you work on stuff. After a capital building is finished, the next big project is going to be the military base. Because Nerdtown needs a military to fend off the things because the prison's going to be full one day. And then, where are we going to move the pr prisoners? To a prison. But that's going to be a work in the future, and that's the Nerdtown tour. So a little zoom up from the map up here. And that's Nerdtown. <laughs> 